hello guys welcome back to Kalilitronics in today's video we have another set of uh, questions uh, to find uh, to solve using uh, integration by fat so uh, this is the questions uh, let find the integral of uh, in parentheses x square plus y x plus 7 plus parentheses and then multiply by sign 2x so uh, basically this is uh, integration by fat as we are reading familiar this is the uh, one fat and then multiply by another fat so this is transcendental function and this is also uh, by the, the component that has uh, x as variable so without wasting time as we already explained how the procedure is working the the steps on our previous video are going to apply a formula and then uh, evaluate the answer so the formula is given as the integral of u dv integral of u dv is equal to uh, u b a minus integral of what uh, a b d u so this is the given formula it's just the integral of u dv is equivalent to uh, ub minus integral of b du so what you need to do at the first is to just take the function and let uh, the first one to be equal to u and then the second one to be equal to dv let's say assuming that is the question is like this let's say sine of 2x multiply or let's say dot that's just to know that is multiplication between them uh, in parentheses x square plus 4x then plus 7 so uh, as you see it's all the same so we have to let this to be equal to u and then the other one to be equal to what dv and then for here don't come and say let this to be equal to u and here to be equal to dv what you need to do is to just look at the transcendental function the function that is cannot, when you search function when you differentiate it it will not go to zero uh, such as sine constant and minimum so whenever you come across with such this you have to add, let you to be equal to the function that you, when you differentiate it it will go zero like this function if you differentiate this it will remain this one and this one this one will go and then if you differentiate uh, second time for the second time you will only have this so as you keep going it will going to be equal to zero so <clears throat> simply means that just take the the component that has x and say it to be equal to u so we can now say u to be equal to uh x square plus 4x plus what 7 and then dv uh to be equal to sine 2x so u to be equal to normal function and then the dv to be equal to the function that has to what transcendental function okay so let's clean this so as you see we have uh let we have let lettering the the functions so we have this and we have also this so what we are looking uh we have this also uh, we don't have this b and we don't have the u we don't have b and the u so it is we are going to find it so to find b we can integrate both sides from here we can say uh, the u is equal to a sine 2x if we integrate both sides uh, uh, the derivative goes as integral then we have what here is p i mean then we have b is equal to what integral of sine what 2x which is equal to what uh, sine of 2x is negative if you integrate it negative course and then 
uh, half of the coefficient then we can say minus 1 over 2 what cos 2x <clears throat> so since here is v so we already got b like this then we have b also we, we, we have to find what du so from here you can find du by differentiate in this function so we can say du by dx is equal to what uh, if you differentiate this that's 2x and then differential of this is just 4 so looking at the du we can make du to be subject then we can say du then we can say du sorry du is equal to what 2x plus 4 multiply by dx so we have uh, all the parameters so it's just left for substitution okay so we can say integral of udb that's the uh, uh, x square plus 4x plus 4x we have plus 4x then plus 7 then uh, times dv our uh, dv is sine 2x so basically this is the function that we are looking so is equal to uv our u is what x square plus what 4x plus 7 uh, multiply that's our ub this one and then multiply by v our b is negative half cos 2x so we can put our negative here uh, then half what cos 2x so then minus integral of uh, v our b is also this minus half cos what, 2x multiply by our du is this uh, so our du we have what uh, 2x plus what 4 uh, then times dx so you can say uh, minus into x square plus 4x plus 7 then half of cos 2x minus the minus minus is positive we can see plus integral of half cos what 2x then uh, multiply by uh, 2x plus what multiply by 2x plus 4 then what dx so this right here is supposed to be the final answer but if you look carefully here is another integration and to integrate this it another is another what integration by fat so you have to do integration by fat for this question two times so we'll keep this one aside and then uh pay attention on the other side so we have to take this so we have what half cos what uh, 2x then multiply by 2x plus 4 then dx so as x uh, as i explained earlier uh, you have to take transcendental function to the what uh, you have to take transcendental function to the uh, dv so our u is going to be our u is going to be equal to what this one our v our u is going to be equal to this one that's for u and then for b for db is going to be equal to this then dv here right here and then the other one is what uh, u <coughs> so then we can say our u is equal to what 2x plus 4 and then uh, our dv is equal to what half what cos 2x so applying the same procedure uh, we need what uh, we need uh, v so that's to integrate this we have to integrate both sides so we can say integral both sides then we can have 
uh, integral of half cos 2x if you integrate this integrate this then b goes is b db goes this one goes is this one so we can that's why we just uh, yeah it's db so here is uh, uh, integral of cos 2x is just uh, uh, sine that's a half of sine 2x we have half half outside so you can see half time is half is 1 over 4 then 1 over integral of cos is sine then uh, sine then we have sine 2x then for this to get the, the u you can say the u remember we need what u b minus integral of what b d u for it to be equal to what in u dv this is our formula so we, we need the u uh see so we can say the u by the x is equal to a two to get the u you can make it to, to be subject of the formula you can say two multiply by what dx So from here we have to put it on our formula, which is a uh, integral of what uh, u dv is equal to u b minus integral of b du. So you have u and b. Let me see the. <clears throat> so we have uh, we have u is. 2x plus 4 and then our v is what half our uh, 1 over 4 sine 2x and then minus integral of we have v as 1 over 4 sine of 2x and then uh, we need uh, v uh, then we need du our du is what 2 dx so we are just trying to uh you know simplify the question so we have one over four into in parenthesis two x plus four sine two x and then minus integral of this this we have you can see we can four by two we have what half sine two x dx so we have to integrate this uh with respect to x then we can say one over four into two x plus four sine x sine two x i mean so to integrate this we can see uh we have negative right here so we can see negative we have half before so that th uh, this one is negative uh half cos 2x but we have what cos but we have half before so you can see negative half multiply that we have okay sorry we have negative at the first then to integrate this is what uh minus half what cos 2x so to open this it's very easy you can see 1 over 4 into 2x plus 4 sine of 2x then minus minus is positive then we have positive right here we are make half time itself is 1 over 4 cos what 2x so we then come back to our initial questions from our initial question that's here our m is here right so we have this at the beginning and then uh and then this one that we are looking that's the one that we express uh right here because it's our uh, integration by part two times so so we can we can say our questions that we have as integral of 
x square plus 4x plus 7 sine 2x sine 2x so it's equal to what it's equal to it's equal to negative negative into x square uh, plus 4x plus 7 then half then cos 2x then uh, plus integral of half cos 2x uh, into 2x plus 4 but remember that all this is equal to this that we've got that we have got as what remember our answer here is if you can remember is half cos 2x multiply by what uh, 2x plus what 4 so we just uh, replace this instead of this so we can come here and say integral uh, of what x square plus 4x plus 7 okay no need to for this so we can see it's equal to half sorry it's equal to minus half so you take this half first and then into x square minus plus 4x plus 7 then multiply by cos 2x then plus so the, all this is going to be equal to this then we can replace it we have uh, 1 over 4 2x plus 4 sine 2x then plus 1 over 4 cos what 2x so I think this is the final answer so to do the shortcut, shortcut I mean it's very easy shortcut it will take you like uh, it's just take you like a less than one minute or a less than a minute so the question if you can remember is to what is to find integral of what integral of x square uh, plus 4x plus what 7 sine 2x right so here is another function here is another function is product rule so we use the i method i have mentioned earlier in our previous video this is another method for solving but this one is just shortcut it's very very shortcut i will do a video for it as soon as possible inshallah so here is d here is i here is differentiation differentiation here is what integration part integration part so take transcendental function and put it to integral sign so you can put it here sign of what 2x and then take normal function and put it in differential uh, part so we have x squared plus 4x plus 7 right here so here just give positive uh, negative positive negative positive and so forth and so on so to differentiate this we can have what 2x right 2x plus what 4 differentiate again we have what 2 differentiate again we have 0 and then for this if you are to differentiate this we have negative or what half then cos what 2x to integrate again i mean to integrate first integrate sign it will give you this if you, we integrate this it will give you another thing so uh, this cos is going to be equal to just what a sign so we have minus remain constant half we have half times this half if we integrate we have 1 over 4 then what sign 2x then if you integrate this remember if you come 0 you can stop at 0 any place 
where you have zero you can stop here so if you integrate this yes uh, integral of sine it will give you cos of course negative cos so negative time is negative is just positive so we can see uh, here is positive so we can say uh, half here is the coefficient of x2 so half of it is 1 over 2 1 over 2 times 1 over 4 is 1 over h so we can say 1 over h what cos 2x so the process is very easy just take the function this one and put it here and then keep differential until it, is, it goes zero take this one if you put this in here uh, if you put this function in uh, integral fat it will not going to be equal to zero but if and then likewise if you put this transcendental function in differential no matter how you differentiate it it will still remain same so after you do this you can do a diagonal cross let me get an arrow I think I have an arrow I think yeah I think I have an arrow let me use no more what I have so you like to give like diagonal I don't see my arrow on so this is how to cross just do like an arrow so but you have to consider a sign you have to consider a sign actually you have to consider this sign and then whatever here this sign whatever you have here as the sign you have to consider it it's very simple so firstly just look at the, this one like here like you are trying to consider this like you are trying to consider this right here so you can see the answer of this the answer of this function right here is equal to what so you can see this sign multiplied by whatever sign here so it's positive times positive is positive and then here we have what uh, uh, sign i mean sorry here i have negative i forget i delete it because if you uh, the sign integral of sign is minus cos then we have half so you have to consider uh, so you have to consider here is positive negative positive negative this one is just added negative positive negative until you get zero so you have to consider this first positive here is positive positive is positive is positive here is negative so positive positive negative we have what negative as a sign then this one multiply by this one then we have half that we have here then time is half of what uh, cos then we can see this one times this one we have what x square plus 4x let me use it normally we, we got the sign as what negative and then this one times this one we have what half of cos 2x multiply by what this one that we have is what uh, 4x sorry x square plus 4x plus 7 so you finish with the first step for the second step we have to consider this let me delete this one for the second step you have to consider this for the second steps okay so just minus time is positive time is first negative is just positive so we can see this one multiplied by this one we have uh, uh, x plus 2 sorry 2x plus 4 multiply by 1 over 4 what sign 2x 
then for the last term we have to consider the last one let's put another arrow let's clean this for the last one we have to consider this one so as you see positive positive yeah it's positive yeah it's positive yeah it's what positive so it's positive and then two times this one we have two times what two times one over x multiplied by what cos 2x so basically our answer it's going to be equal to negative half cos what uh, let's arrange it negative half into what x square plus 4x plus 7 and then times what cos 2x then plus this one times this one we have half uh, we have half let me see with uh, I got an issue is there issue let me see yeah there is no issue here yeah, it's, uh, it's no half from here is 1 over 4 yes it's 1 over 4 so we have uh, 1 over 4 into 2x plus 4 then sine what 2x then plus half of h 2 mod 2 uh, 2 divided by h is 1 over 4 but cos 2x so as you see right here this is this answer is equivalent to the one that we got using normal procedure let me confirm so as you see the first time we are having this also here we are having this and then for the second time we have 1 over 4 yes we have still still we have the same and then for the last time we have 1 over 4 x then yeah we have the same so basically it's very simple yeah I let me explain it's very simple no it is thing it's difficult so just here I put positive negative positive negative so here just differentiate the function is right here and then the other function is here differential of this it will give you this differential of this it will give you this and then differential of this it will give you this with minus right here differential of this will give you this the differential of this will give you this just use diagonal and cross like this so we put an arrow we cross this again we'll give an arrow we cross the last one again and give an arrow so multiplying this this one times this one and then use sign multiply this one by this one use sign multiply this one by this one and use sign you will arrive at the answer so this is the final solution don't forget to subscribe and learn and correct and comment thank you for watching I'm exhausted.